Hello, here I'm looking at ways to remove the WordPress site health check widget, which appeared on the update to version 5.4 of WordPress. So I'm a little bit late with this. And this is what it looks like. It can be seen by anybody who's got an administrator role. And in version 5.2, health check was added. If we go over to tools, we can see here. And it's quite a handy thing to have. But I wasn't so keen that this was activated on the dashboard for all of my clients to see. So I really wanted to remove it, particularly as I'm not going to get this to an excellent status. I'm going to ignore some of the advice that's here. So in my case, it does recommend that I install on my server the eMagic module. Well, I'm using short pixel to optimize my images. Like, there's no reason for me to need to do that. And also one of the recommendations about removing all of the spare themes is not something I want to do. I like one as a backup for when I've got a problem with an update. So it's always going to be good and it's always going to leave this open for clients to send me an email saying is the things that we can do to improve it. So it seems much easier just to remove this. And I've put the options that were available to me on this blog post which will be linked to below the first one was to manually add a code snippet to all of my sites through my child themes functions php file so this is something that i found on the net and it works and i've done this i put it on my starter theme so it's there for all future projects so i went to appearance to theme editor it recognizes that i'm in my child theme by default go into functions add it in and then update the file. That's fine for all future projects, but I needed to deal with the sites that I was already looking after. And the next thing that I saw was a plugin designed for this. This plugin was designed for those people who use some kind of management tool where they can upload a plugin in bulk and activate it. And I've got that, I'm using main WP. So let's just have a quick look on the WordPress repository. Here is the plugin. The author here advises if it's just the one site to take a bit of code. His code is slightly different to mine, but does the same thing. This is really just designed as a plugin so you can bulk upload. But as I am using main WP and I'm using the pro version, I had another cleaner option to be able to upload my snippet to all of my sites without a plugin. So that's what I've gone for as a pro user. There is the code snippets extension, which I'm using for this. If you are considering using this, there is a 25% discount, which I've got at the moment. Don't know how long I'm gonna have it called Digital Freedoms. That's my code. You can use that um, to get a discount. So there is, let me just go over here, a page which says what this does. I'll probably cover this in another video because it does more than what I'm using in this example. But let me just go over to my tester install of main WP. So once you've got this activated as, as an extension and go over and click onto that, then you come into this execute a code snippet and you get this box over here, which looks a little bit scary. You also get a little warning where they say they're not taking responsibility. So you do need to take a lot of care. But essentially all you need to do is to paste in your bit of code here, making sure that you've not left off something like the last curly brace which could break things and then you will need to in this case go over to here make sure that you execute on child sites that's what you want you're not returning some information and you're not doing anything with the WP config file that's the default so I'd need to shift that I need to give this snippet a name and a description at this point and then save this snippet well I've already done that if I just go over to the next tab I can show you that my save snippet is already in here and it's ready for me to load. And if I click on that button, I've just got it ready on the tab here. It will load this back in as things are. And then it's up to me to pick which of my sites this wants to go to or groups of sites. And then I can execute this snippet. Now I'm going to do that because this is going to my child one site. And this in fact is my child one site. So here it is, let's just see it's gonna work. I'm going to save and execute. It's giving me an extra warning. Now this is a little bit scary because you selected, I've only selected the one site and it's showing me tick boxes for the other sites. But if you watch on, you'll see it's only doing the update on the one that I selected. So don't panic if you see that I did panic. 
Anyway, that should have done it. If I go over to here and I refresh, we should see all very well that it's gone. And that will happen for all of the sites. So that concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.